नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर डेटा हैंडलिंग टू शो डेटा और इंफॉर्मेशन वी यूज मेनी मेथड्स ऑफ दिस मेथड्स पिक्टोग्राफ इज वन ऑफ दिस मेथड्स ओके सो पिक्टोग्राफ इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग वे ऑफ शोइंग डेटा और इंफॉर्मेशन यूजिंग पिक्चर्स और सिम्बल्स ओके द फॉलोइंग पिक्टोग्राफ शोज द फेवरेट कलर्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स See, this is one pictograph. These are the symbols of students, okay? And these are favorite colors of the students: green, orange, blue, red, and yellow. These are the favorite color, and these are the students. Actually, number of students. Green, the fav, the number of students who like green, the color green. One, two, three, four, five. That means five students like. green 1 2 3 4 that means four students like orange 1 2 3 4 that means four students like blue 1 2 that means two students like red and three students like yellow okay now some questions are there which is based on this pictograph how many students like blue so see blue the color blue How many students? One, two, three, four. So four students like blue. Okay. Which color is most liked by students? So see, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, green color. The color green is liked by most of the students. How many students are there? One, two, three, four, and five. Five students. So, which color is most liked by students? Green. Okay. Now, total number of students. Question number three. Total number of students. So, we have to add all the students. Okay. So, five plus four plus four plus two plus three is equal to eighteen. Okay. So, total number of students will be eighteen. Which color is least liked by the students? That means, see here, red color. Only two students, okay? Only two students, which is least liked by the students. That means minimum number of students, two red color, okay? So red. Now next question. What is the difference between the number of students? Those Who liked green color and those who liked red color? So see, how many students like green color? One, two, three, four, five. And how many students like red color? One, two. So the difference between the number of students who like green and red will be five minus two because five students like green color and two students like red color. So difference is five minus two. Is equal to three. So, what is the difference? Three. Okay. Now we will solve one problem from exercise fourteen point one. Read the following pictograph and answer the following. Answer the questions. Okay. So days of the week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Number of students absent. So these are the students. Number of students absent. But see, scale. One smiley means actually two children. Okay, that means here one circle. You can one circle means actually two children, and half circle means actually one child. So, how many children were absent on Saturday? See. These are actually number of students absent. Okay, number of absent students. So Saturday, one, two, three, three and a half. So three means actually three into two six. So six plus one. Okay, six plus one. That means here seven children. So answer will be seven. Okay, because one smiley means two children. And half means one child, so three and a half. So three means six, and half means one. So six plus one is seven. 
Now, on which day were the maximum number of children absent? Write their number. Okay, which day maximum number of children absent? See, Monday. Five smiley at it. Okay, so five into two is ten. Actually, ten. So, which day? Monday. Monday. And write their number. Ten. Okay. On which day were only two children absent? Only two means one smiley. See, witness day. Okay. Two. So, answer will be witness day. Now, what is the total number of children in the above data? Okay. So, total number of children you have to count. So, first of all, count all the smiley. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 and half. So, 18 means actually 18 into 2, that means 36 and half means 1. So, 36 plus 1 means 36 plus 1 is equal to 37. So, answer will be 37. This is the total number of children. Now, how many more children were absent on Friday than on Tuesday? So first of all we have to find the number of children who absent on Friday. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 means 4 smiley means 4 into 2. Because 1 smiley means 2 children. So 4 into 2 is 8 children. And Tuesday. 1, 2, 3. So 3 means 3 into 2. That means 6. 6 children. So difference between 6 and 8. 8 and 6 is 2. So how many more children? 8 minus 6 equal to 2. Okay. Now we will discuss bar graph. What is bar graph? Bar graph is another interesting way of showing data or information using vertical or horizontal bars. Okay. Of equal width or thickness on a graph paper. Pictograph require a lot of skill in drawing clear pictures. You know, in pictographs we have to draw pictures, so many pictures, clear pictures. Okay. Also, representing large numbers by pictographs becomes very difficult. You cannot draw so many pictures. It will be very difficult for you. So, easier method of presenting data pictorically have been devised. One such method is drawing a bar graph. That means, that means if you want to show large numbers of data in a very quick and easier way, you have to use bar graph. Okay, bar graph is very simple and easy to draw. You can you can show a, a large number of informations or so many information in a very short way okay and within very short time also and it is very easy to draw okay now a bar graph has two straight lines actually horizontal horizontal and one is vertical okay two axis a bar graph includes a title which explains what the bar graph shows and a level which shows what its bars represents. The thickness or width of bars should be equal. That means you have to draw the bars which will be of equal thickness. Okay. So let's move to one example of bar graph. See, this is one example of bar graph favorite fruit of class 4 students this is bar graph representation so this is one axis this is horizontal and this is vertical two axis and angle between these two axis will be actually 90 degree of course okay 
so you have to draw the bar graphs in this way so let's discuss this is this indicates actually that means vertical axis indicates number of students see 0 10 students 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 okay like this okay now in horizontal axis represent actually favorite fruits apple orange jackfruit pineapple guava mango and banana okay so here you can see this is a this is a graph paper actually so many boxes are there and all the boxes are actually a square box here one square box the scale is actually one square box is actually 10 students see 10 10 10 okay each step is actually 10 that means each square box indicates actually 10 students so on the basis of this bar graph we have to answer some questions also first question how many students favorite fruit is guava so see where is guava this is guava okay so how many students two three four see the level is 40 and four boxes are there actually and level is 40 so 40 students favorite fruit actually guava okay 40 40 now which fruit is liked by maximum number of students and how many students liked it maximum number of students means we have to we have to see the highest height okay c120 120 mango and the fruit is actually mango that means the fruit mango is liked by most of the students and the number of students is 120 so which fruit first of all you have to write mango and how many students liked it 120 students okay 120 students okay now next question is which fruit is liked by least number of students that means minimum number of students so we have to find the find the minimum height actually so see 30 this is jackfruit and the number is 30 this is the minimum height so minimum of minimum number of students like jackfruit and the number is 30 which fruit is liked by least number of students jackfruit Now, which fruit are liked by same number of students? So we have to find the same height. See, 70, 70. Apple and pineapple. Okay. Apple is liked by 70 students also pineapple is also liked by 70 students so answer will be apple and pineapple so the answer of question number 4 will be apple and pineapple now the last question what is the difference between the number of students those who liked orange and those who liked pineapple so we have to find the number of students who liked orange 100, 100 students and pineapple 70 students so difference between 100 and 70 is 30 100 minus 70 is equal to 30 difference between students who liked orange and pineapple orange liked actually 100 students and 70 students liked pineapple we can say okay by this graph by this paragraph we can say so 100 minus 70 is the difference equal to 30 is the answer okay now we will solve 
one problem from exercise 14.2 read the following bar graph it shows the number of students who travel to school using different modes of transports okay so different modes of transport they use actually now answer the following question this is the bar graph see this is horizontal axis mode of transport and this is number of students 0 50 100 150 200 250 300 okay see scale is actually one square means 50 students so 50 then 50 50 50 like this okay so first question is which which is the most commonly used means of transport that means most commonly used so we have to find the highest highest height so mostly they use actually school bus so school bus will be the answer of question number one okay school bus now how many students travel by metro c metro 50 and 50 c the level 100 so 100 students like 100 students travel actually by metro 100 students which which is the least common mode of transport least so we have to find the least height minimum height so one box see the level 50 which is the least common mode of transport other public transport okay other public transport how many children walk to school see walk to school height is 50 50 and half half box means one square box means actually 50 students so see half half means 25 so 50 50 and 25 is 125 see the level between it's actually between 100 and 150 so between 100 and 150 there will be 125 so 125 will be the answer 125 children walk to school okay